In this video, I'm going to be changing the brake master cylinder. And on this Golf, it is not a particularly nice job. Um, it's stuck in right underneath the bulkhead. It's a little bit tricky. So you're gonna start by just removing all plugs and connectors that are in your way. Um, the This is the, the coolant bottle, as you can see there, and that other wire that I'm holding near the black thing is the charcoal fuel, I believe. So basically, you're just going to go through the procedure of removing any wires that are in and around there. You're trying to create as much space as possible because it's in a super tight area. So remove all your covers, as you see I'm doing here, anything you can. And like I said, you really need as much space as possible because even once you remove all this stuff, it's still really tight. So, yep, yeah, just, just undo everything. This is the coolant uh, bottle, which I'm removing. Um... And yeah, that's it. Just take your time. Make sure not to lose the screws and remember the order that they go in. This is the fuel breather. Try and get that off. I actually broke it, as you can see. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's me realizing what I've done. Undo the charcoal filter. That's two 10 mil bolts. Just want to just take them two nuts off and just ease it up out of there. Like I said, we're trying to create as much space as possible in this area because it's super tight. You're going to see in a little while that my angles aren't very great either. The actual shooting angles aren't very great because it is such a tight, snug space. There you go. Now, what I did here with the bottles, I just kept it out of the way. I put a cable tie around the cable tie and then just squeezed it up in the corner because I needed that to be pinned out of the way. Um, try and keep it with that uh, nipple heading towards the air because you don't want to lose any coolant and um, have to replace it. So now you've got your bit of space, you're just trying to remove your timing belt cover. I mean, it's, it, it seems only like a little thing to remove, but it's, it will help. Now be very careful with these plastic cables, these plastic fuel lines, because they can seize and you don't want to crack them. So I am being very careful just to grip it and not actually squeeze it. So you, you actually hold the bottom and push in the tab at the top. Make sure you've got a rag around to collect that all up. So now you've got your cables. Once again, you just want to get them out of the way. So get a couple of cable ties and tie it around somewhere. So it just stays out your face. So now you've got the, the looks like a fuel hose casing. It's like the protector casing. And this luckily comes out totally, but you just got to clip all the hoses out. Remember the order, they're color coded on the, 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 the plugs and just slide that out. So this is all the stuff we've got out of the way now, and it's just about going towards the, 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 the cylinder itself. I'm just trying to remove the filter. There's a filter inside of the, um, uh, the, the, the brake uh, cylinder. And I'm gonna suck out all the fluid that's in there. There you go. Just grab out all the fluid that's in there as much as you possibly can. You're gonna have to bleed the brakes later. That'd be another video, but this video I'm just showing you how to remove the master cylinder itself. There you go, nice and simple stuff. Make sure that that fluid doesn't get on the paintwork because it will eat your paintwork. So now in a, with your 30 mil socket, I've got an actual, I've got a wobbly bit on here. You've got to reach in and just undo it. It's just, this is just one of those jobs where you just have to reach in and just get what you can on it and help yourself really. So just take your time and undo it. Make sure not to cross thread anything and just, just slowly undo it and make sure you've got your hand to catch it or and not lose it really. So there's the nut come off. You can see there. Remember there are two nuts to remove from there. There's one at the top and one at the bottom. You're gonna to need to remove them to get the extra movement at the top. Now it's on to removing the actual uh, brake pipes going into the master cylinder. Now I started by putting a little rag underneath there because when we remove this, there's gonna be a little bit of fluid in the bottle and there's gonna be a little bit of fluid inside the pipes themselves. So to remove the pipes, it really is just a meticulous task of just doing it bit by bit, bit by bit, swinging it around. I'm just showing you that there was no cheats here. Well, I couldn't find a cheat to make it any easier than I'm doing it here. So, you know, just take your time and just stick at it. It's one of these jobs of perseverance. Sometimes jobs are easy, sometimes they're not, and this is one of the not so easy jobs. 
The um, on the left hand drive, it'd probably be a bit better. It'd probably be a little easier because you've got some more space. But on the right hand right drive vehicles, this was the only way I found to do it. I was quite frustrated at this point because it was round two. But like I said before, removing them two 30mm bolts at the back of the master cylinder gave you enough space to lift it up and get at it. There you go. All done. Got to clean up that brake fluid. So here we go. This is the point where you compare it to your uh, the part that you've got and realise that it's not the same. <laughs> it's one of those things. Now, in most cases, you're going to have to replace that top uh, reservoir bottle, but that's easy with a 10mm bolt. Hope that helps. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching.